Hey guys, what's going on? It's Zoko, and today I am doing something new. Boulder's Gate 3 has been something I've been looking forward to for quite a while now, and today it actually just entered early access, and I wanted to go over the character creation system with you guys. So if you're interested in Boulder's Gate 3, I'm going to be doing all sorts of videos on it from combat guides, secret locations, and just really explore all the cool things that Larian has done with developing this game. I'm excited to see it, and if you are too, you should hit that subscribe button below. This channel is on the up and up, and I'd love it if you were along for the ride. Alright, so I just booted it up. I haven't played this at all, and uh, we're just going to get right into it. Alright, so we are at the character creation screen right now. And I have a lot to look at. All right, so at the top, we got origin, race, appearance, class, skills, and abilities. All right, so origin, male and female. Can only do custom so far. The other five aren't available. And early access as of yet. I think I'm, I think my care. I want my character to be evil on this run. All right, so for race, if you've ever looked these up before, they were pretty available for you to find. You got elf, uh, tiefling, drow, human, githyanki, dwarf, half elf, and halfling. I thought there was half drow too. Dude, that looks like the Grinch. <laughs> That's the Grinch. All right, I think I'm going to do drow dexterity plus two and charisma rapier proficiency short sword hand crossbow proficiency and superior dark vision with a base uh racial speed nine meters per turn okay yeah, six different face types looks like you can have male and female voices the stone's less warm here. yeah you can have any combination that you want if you choose how many hairstyles do we got? Bald. Yes. No. I want like a mohawk. Please give me a mohawk. Ooh, I don't know about that. I don't know. I like that first one the best, though. I like the contrast, though. I like darker hair. So I'm gonna do, uh... It's the difference between Black Raven. Mm, yeah, Black Raven's cool. It's got like a purple hue to it almost. Woo, that's purple. Okay. Different shades of tattoo. How many tattoos we got? 17, well, 16 tattoos. Or no tattoo. Let's do that. Something subtle. Uh, I'm good on the makeup. I don't need makeup. I don't feel like it anyways. All right, so moving on from my appearance, I'm gonna go to class. Dexterity and charisma. So I want something that can complement that. Wisdom and Charisma. Always in these games, I end up in, like, the, the rogues. Yeah, I'm probably going to choose rogue. Okay, so moving on to skills. Receive a bonus to every skill that you are proficient in. This bonus increases as you gain levels in your class and applies to all checks for that skill. So acrobatics, dexterity skill, athletics is a strength skill, so I'm not worried about that. Deception, charisma skill. Performance, persuasion, slate of hand, stealth. Skilled without proficiency. Arcana, history, nature, religion, animal handling, medicine, and survival. Don't get lost in the woods. Noted. Alright, so... I 
Okay, so it's already kind of allotted with a the recommended amounts, I guess. You can customize this as much as you want. I'm not really going to mess with it because I have absolutely no experience in this game yet, so I'm just going to kind of go with the flow, I guess you could say. Tell me, who do you dream of at night? Whoa. Who attracts me? Uh... Hi, Elf, man. Yeah. A tidy slot. Whoa. No the stone's less worn here. There we go. Recently uncovered. Again, like dark hair. Give some different. This feels a bit weird, to be honest. Venture forth. 